Well, weed dispensaries like this will soon be a thing of the past with the province rolling out its first 40 uh, government run pot shops next uh, July. But with only 60 licensed pot producers in all of Canada, there is room to grow for all different sectors of the industry. In, in, and in anticipation of that boom, brand new sectors, companies, jobs, and even uh, college programs are already starting to flood the econ economy. Take a look at these listing jobs in software, marketing, management, and horticulture, all direct, directly related to cannabis. And we spoke with one pot information outlet that's on the hunt for multiple employees, and they say there will be lots of new jobs to be had in the coming years in Canada's booming cannabis industry. This has been estimated to be a 7 to $10 billion market currently. As that expands, obviously the jobs and potential will expand. As we move towards a, a non-medical recreational legalization system, all of these companies and sort of the ancillary companies that will be surrounding them will be continuing to hire as well. Everything from from sort of growers or you know lower level uh, employees at a, at a growing facility who may be trimming uh, or, or just sort of helping with maintenance of the facility, you know, all the way up to higher level uh, quality assurance producers uh, and managers. Uh, customer service representatives, uh, um, customer uh, uh, retail clientele. Uh, there, you know, there's really, uh, this is just the very beginning of a very large industry that is just beginning to grab a foothold. So it's not just the campus producers, it's also the future retailers. Um, it's And all of the sort of ancillary services that feed those businesses. And if you're looking to get into the budding business of growing weed, you can now learn about it at one Ontario college. Starting next fall, Niagara College will offer a post-grad program in commercial cannabis production. The application uh, system is now open and we're receiving uh, a lot of interest from the program. I think people understand why the program uh, has been put forward by the college. Uh, most of the uh, consultation that we've had with licensed producers uh, has shown us clearly that there was a need for this program. You know, with any industry as it emerges, I think, you know, you've got to fill the job with uh, the jobs that are going to be created with well-trained, skill, highly skilled individuals or the, or the industry as it emerges or as, as it is in existence is really going to be challenged. So, you know, I think that's where colleges ultimately play a really important role as industries evolve and change and new things occur is that the colleges need to be responsive uh, and to be able to fill that, that, uh, you know, that gap that exists within that highly skilled labor force. And Niagara College isn't the only school thinking green. It's a trend experts are expecting to blossom. So I think Niagara College is certainly the, the first of many uh, that we will see programs like this. When people think of the cannabis industry, they often think of just simple things like growers, trimmers, uh, retailers. But really, this is a, a brand new industry that is going to require professionals from, from all aspects of the professional world. But I know there's a, a online university here in British Columbia, KPU, who is offering a lot of different courses like that, including cannabis marketing. Uh, I believe that New Brunswick, uh, there's some uh, a university in New Brunswick who's establishing those programs as well. So yeah, it's you know business management, quality assurance, uh, uh, marketing, branding, all of these issues that have to do with any sort of legal product. Now, experts say municipalities like Toronto uh, need to start preparing for the impending boom by putting the infrastructure and bylaws in place ahead of time. And city officials here tell us they are doing just that, working out the details still. But they say they definitely don't want to be on the hook for the cost of legalization and are, and are asking the government to take, the, to take that on.